Hello, welcome back to Goals Go and welcome back to another week of Premier League predictions. This time, match week 30 for the Premier League. If you're going to enjoy, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. Of course, we've got fixtures on the Saturday, the Sunday, and then the Tuesday uh, and some midweek ones. So, of course, have notifications on so you don't miss any prediction videos for the Premier League, the Championship, uh, or anything Champions League, even FA Cup as well. It's all here on Goals Galore. Right, then let's get into the predictions. We begin at St. James's Park for Newcastle hosting West Ham. Big game, to be fair, because both sides are in similar positions in the table. Both sides not really had a great season so far. Um, you know, it's been it's been very up and down for both sides. Not 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 too consistent in this one. Newcastle to win two one, just about. Bournemouth versus Everton next up, and I can see this one being an interesting game with a few goals in it. I am back in Everton for the three one win. Uh, Bournemouth recently, of course, they had that game against um, Sheffield United where it wasn't great, and then they had the game against Luton where. <sighs> Goals galore, they, they, you know, they were winning, the losing, the winning, everything happened in that game. Um, and in this one against Everton, I just think Everton are going to want the, the win more. I, I don't think, feel like Bournemouth will be sucked into a relegation battle. Everton are in it at the moment and they need a win here. I think they get it. 3-1 Everton here. Next up, Chelsea versus Burnley. Chelsea are in the FA Cup semi-finals now. And in this one, they host Burnley, who, you know, they're showing a bit of fight. Every game is just, there's not too much quality in there to get them over the line in the games. And I think next season in the Championship, it's all about building again to come back up. Because I think they will uh, undoubtedly come back up next season if they keep hold of company and majority of that squad. Because uh, I do think it'll bounce back. In this one, though, Chelsea to win here 2-0 at home. Up next is Nottingham Forest hosting Crystal Palace. Nottingham Forest, of course, in the relegation now after that uh, point deduction and Crystal Palace. I think they'll be fine this season. They've, you know, strung together a few wins. They've shown they're capable of it. Nottingham Forest, though, on the other hand, they're not capable of doing it. They haven't, we haven't seen that from them yet. In this one, Forest 1, Palace 1. Sheffield United versus Fulham next up. And Sheffield United, I, I do think they've gone already. Um, I hate to say it before it's mathematically confirmed, but... You know, all season they've been uh, a, a championship team at best. You know, they haven't really um, looked competitive in any game this season. You know, it's struggling to think of one, which just shows it. Um, Fulham are the visitors in this one. I think Fulham, yeah, routine win here for Fulham. 3-0 away at Bramall Lane. Spurs versus Luton is the next game. And I do think Spurs should win this one. Of course, they're still in the hunt for the top four place. Against Luton, who are now out of the relegation zone after Forest point deduction. In this one, I think Spurs will win 2-1. Luton won't make it easy for them, though. And moving on, it's a bit of a derby. Aston Villa versus Wolves. Interesting game. Wolves trying to, of course, stop Aston Villa and their top four charge. In this one, though, at Villa Park, I think Aston Villa will get the win and the three points. 2-0 at home here. Off to Brentford versus Man United. Brentford, of course, not clear of the relegation scrap. But, of course, they're not too much in it i think in this one they need the points i don't think they get it against man united man united what a game it was in the fa cup last night for them they weren't in league action they beat liverpool 4-3 at old trafford in the fa cup incredible scenes in this one they beat brentford 2-0 away at the g-tech and moving on to liverpool versus brighton liverpool looking good at the moment and of course as i just mentioned in the man united game uh they did lose 4-3 and Klopp won't get an FA Cup in his final season. But they still, of course, are uh, in contention for the Premier League. And with Arsenal and Man City playing each other this weekend, it's a big opportunity for one of them teams, if not both of them, to drop points. So Liverpool really do need to win this match week. I think they will against Brighton 3-1 at Anfield. And the final game to predict is the big one, Man City versus Arsenal. And honestly, I can't separate the sides. Both teams look good this season. Both teams scoring for fun. And if I was going to uh, go for one side, it probably would be Arsenal. But I do have a feeling City gets something from the game. 1-1 one, one in this one. Well then, guys, they are my Match Week 30 predictions for the Premier League. If you did enjoy, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comments. And I'll see you in the next one very soon, guys. Take care. Goodbye.